Now I'm going to demonstrate how to administer albuterol in line with a bag valve device. So for our patient here, we're going to assume that he is in respiratory uh, arrest after having some sort of bronchospasm episode. So this patient needs to be ventilated and he needs to have albuterol administered. So first of all, I have my BSI on, I have my gloves and goggles, and our scene is safe. So we're going to set up our equipment here. I already have my albuterol diced. I've already administered it into this um, container. And we're going to assemble the nebulizer itself so that we can fit it onto the BVM mask. So we don't need the mouthpiece anymore. What we're going to do here is take our T-piece and we have these two little adapter pieces. These are called BVM to nebulizer adapters. This larger one is 22 millimeters and the smaller one is 15 millimeters and we're going to need both. So take the 22 millimeter and attach it to your T-piece. On the other side, you're going to use the exhalation hose. And on the end of that, you're going to take your 15 millimeter adapter. Your albuterol is going to go at the same place as before. And oxygen hose, just like before. So this end is going to attach to the bag valve and this end is going to be attached to the mask. So let's attach those first. Actually, let's hook up our oxygen first and turn it on. So just like before, it's going to be at six to eight liters per minute. And our patient was being bagged, so we'll make sure that they are pre-oxygenated before we do this. We'll take off the mask, attach the bag onto this end, and then attach this end to your face mask. And bagging is done just like you would normally. You just need to make sure that your albuterol stays upright so it doesn't spill over. And it may take some trial and error to get this just right. Now it's best to have a two-person technique doing this, but you can do it with one person. Just make sure you have a good CE grip, open the airway, and you can bag in the treatment. And just as always, reassess for any adverse effects and for your desired effects.